Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for fun and relaxing creative tutorials. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and leave me any comments or questions down below. This week I've ordered a collection of really fun 3D snowflake tree decorations from Crestpire.com. I found that they were really fast in delivery. They have a huge choice of reasonably priced silicone molds and wax melts. So let's get pouring. I'm once again starting off by mixing up some craft resin. This worked really great for this project, even though it's a low viscosity resin. And I'm splitting the resin up into a few smaller cups that I've previously used. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know I try to be as eco-friendly as I can. And I reuse all my cups as much as possible. So these are now fully cured from yesterday's pour, so I can use them again today. So I'm adding some glitter into one cup and a drop or two of this liquid resin tint that gives a transparency which is perfect for giving a glass look to resin. Now these molds are a little bit on the thin side and just only slightly fiddly but I found the best way to pour into these is to tilt the mold and pour into the ends and then just using your thumb and forefinger just pinch the edges to push the resin down and remove any air bubbles. You can also use a silicone brush and poke the resin inside. And for this one, I'm alternating the snow tips by pouring glitter and a resin tint into each tip. And then I added this gorgeous silver stones into the center. And this was simply one of my favorites. I just loved the sparkle. And this is the part where you lose yourself in a mindlessness creative trance. If you have any tension hunched in your body, try pouring these snowflakes. It's simply the most relaxing task you can do apart from a relaxing bath or a massage or reflexology. Yes, those are some of my favorite de-stressors, but trust me, try making these and let me know in a comment if it's worked for you. Now onto these really cute baubles with a snowflake inlay that looks gorgeous covered in gold. I'll show you how to do that right at the end of this tutorial, but let's start with preparing some tinted resin in one cup and some iridescent glitter in the other, and then pour half of each into the top and the bottom. And for just some fun, use your silicone brush to pull up the glitter to give a sort of snow effect.
And this is the smallest of these 3D moulds and for this one I've already filled it up with red glitter mixed in resin and now I'm using some red tint in some resin and I'm filling the mould up to the top. So I love this part, unmoulding these beauties, and I really hope they glimmer on screen as much as they do in real life. Stunning. And these are going to look gorgeous on your treat. The only dilemma you'll face when making these is which colours and glitters to choose from. And I've tried to use as many tones as I could to give you ideas to inspire you, but believe me, it was really hard to choose. These moulds don't have holes in to thread a metal ring or some ribbon to hang them. So I'm going to drill um, a hole into them, starting with a super fine drill bit. Then I'm going to go on to a thicker drill bit. And I find this is easier to do when you're drilling into resin, is to go from a small to a thicker drill bit.
and for the gold inlay you can always leave it plain but I like the gold pop of bling and I make a simple mix of super fine gold pigment and some gloss varnish and the gloss varnish will help seal the pigment in and I've tried this with just some isopropyl alcohol but the problem occurs when the alcohol evaporates and then you're just left with a gold dust on the surface of the resin piece but if you add varnish it seals the gold pigment without tarnishing the shine I hope you've been inspired to create your own or you've just enjoyed watching and taken some time out for yourself to watch this video. And if you have, please do like this video and leave me a comment down below. This will help boost my videos so I can create more free online resin tutorials for you. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!